It may be that more than one person will be coding aspects of the same project. And in such cases, it may be helpful to do a couple documents at least uh, together and get a feel for how the other people in the group are coding. Uh, another way you can do that is sort of test how each person has been coding is with a function called intercoder agreement. And the way that works is that two people code the same document. So in this case, we imported the interview with Kelly twice. One of them we called Kelly1, one of them Kelly2. And one person went through and coded within the first document, and another person coded in the second document. So then it got to the point that they wanted to compare how that both of them coded that document. So to do this, we can go to the intercoder agreement function. When we click on that, we need to select the two documents that we want to compare. In this case, Kelly 1 and Kelly 2. And then we specify what type of agreement we want to test for. And so let's just go through each one of these. The first one just tests for the existence of a code. So it looks to see, OK, did both of them use the health code at least once? Did both of them use the code overall at least once? So it's the simplest form of comparison. So I click on OK. We get this particular visualization. So for each of the codes in the code system, it shows that either it was used with a blue node or not used. And in this case, we can see that day-to-day -day issues was not coded in either one. And in the interview guide topics, health, overall, recreation, home life, relationships, and work issues. In other words, all of the interview guide topics were used by both Kelly, uh, or for the person who coded Kelly 1, and the people who coded Kelly 2. So we have a correlation of 100% based solely on whether or not the codes exist or, or whether they are used in the document. So if we go to analysis and intercoder agreement again, the second option is code frequency in the document. In other words, they're going to compare how often each person used each of the codes. So let's click on OK. And it's initially shown as, uh, as nodes. So you can see that the person who coded Kelly 2 here on the right side, the nodes are slightly larger. So it looks like the person, the second person, coded relationships more often and work issues more often. If we want, we can click on the 1, 2, 3 icon here to show the values. And we see that indeed there were some differences. So uh, health overall and recreation were, were used the same number of times. Home life, the second coder used once more. Relationships was used twice as much by the second coder. And work issues appeared four times compared to one. Uh, now, to find out why there was this difference, you can simply double click on one of these icons. So I'm going to see what the second coder coded as having to do with work issues. So I'm going to double click on the four. And those all appear in the Retrieve Segments window. So this is a good way then for the two people to look at them together and discuss why the one person coded these as having to do with work issues compared to the other. In this case, it turns out that the second coder, since there was nothing in the interview guide topics that had to do with school, decided that, well, school was kind of like work for a person who's still in school. So that person was coding anything that had to do with school as being work issues, as opposed to this first coder who did not. Uh, the only thing that this person coded as having to do with work issues was when they talked about what they were studying because of the job they were going to go for. So that's one way to go through and find out what the differences are. Uh, one thing to be aware of, though, is that theoretically, they could have both coded the same amount of text and had a different number of codes. If the first person coded four paragraphs a single time, and the second person coded each paragraph individually. So that will still cause uh, the difference in the number of codes. 
And we can see here that the correlation was 86% down from 100% when we were just counting whether or not each code was used. So now let's go to the third form of analysis. And that's segment agreement and percentage. So what we'll do is it will go to the first instance of a code in the first document and see how big it is and exactly what was coded. And it will then look in the second document and compare. See what percentage of that text coded here is also coded with the same code in document two. And you can set what percentage agreement will then count as correlating. So 90% uh, would leave room for if uh, the first coder left out maybe some, some punctuation that the second coder included. So we'll just leave that at 90% for now. When we click OK, we're going to get two windows. The first one shows each instance by code. So, the, uh, each code is listed here, and for each code, you can see how often its use correlated and how often it didn't correlate. Here we're running into the first couple of codes that weren't used at all. Okay, so we get to the first code that was actually used, which is Interview Guide Topics Health, and we can see that it correlated twice, didn't correlate zero times, so for that particular code, there was 100% correlation. Let's see, overall life satisfaction, also correlating 100%. Recreation, there were four instances that correlated and two that did not. And so we can go through one by one and see these instances for each code, how often they correlated, how often they did not. This is a good view then for seeing if there are certain codes you need to talk about. Work issues has a correlation of only 40%. And if they hadn't already figured it out, uh, this would be a good time to look at those and, and realize that the one person was coding anything to do with schoolwork also as work issues. So that's the first uh, part that you get. The next window shows us each and every instance that any code was used. So we can see this in uh, it starts with Kelly 1 here, and it shows the code interview guide topics work issues, and it shows that it appeared in document 1 and document 2, and that it agreed. So in paragraph 5 and 5. So if I double click on this too, I can go to that particular segment. So I double click on document 1, it shows me what was coded as having to do with work issues. And I can go also to document two. You can see that in both cases, the same exact spot was coded. So let's go down to a situation where they don't correlate. And you'll see an X here. So here we have an instance of the, the code recreation. And if we double click on document one, we can see that it was indeed coded. And if we code or double click on document two, it will show us the same paragraph and it was coded with some codes, but it wasn't coded with the recreation code. So then uh, the two coders can sit down together and talk about why they did or did not code that particular uh, section. So you can then go through one by one and see every coding instance and whether or not it correlated between the two. So it's a powerful tool for finding out exactly how two different people are coding with the same code system in the same document. Mm -hmm.